This app, this app, and this app were all built without writing a single line of code. But what if I told you that you can build your own $25,000 app in less than 60 minutes, leveraging the power of AI? And to prove it to you in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to build your own app from scratch using these three AI tools. Now, for those of you who are skeptical, I'm not just gonna show you how to build the entire app. I'm also gonna be showing you how to connect it to database, create user authentication or signups, and even attach it to your own custom domain before launching. And yes, my friends, I'm highly caffeinated for this challenge, so I hope I don't speak too quickly. I got lots to cover, so let's jump in. But before jumping in, what are we actually gonna build? Let me introduce you to one task. I don't know about you, but I'm personally super busy, and there's always a big goal that I have that I never managed to accomplish. It might be a personal goal, like learning how to play the guitar or learning French, but although I'm excited about it, I never seem to manage to accomplish it. So one task is a platform that allows you to insert your goal and AI will break it down into individual daily tasks that you can do once a day that take no more than 30 minutes so that you can actually accomplish your goal. And of course, we're gonna be tracking our progress and celebrating our wins. But of course, these days, ideas are a dime a dozen. It's all about execution. Okay, Grandpa, thanks for the good advice. So let's talk about the first and central tool we'll be using to build this out. Now, the first tool we're gonna to use that's gonna allow us to build out the full app, but also the website is a tool that when they launched for the first time, heard complete crickets. In fact, their second launch also flopped, but it was only once they rebranded as lovable.dev that they launched and their growth absolutely skyrocketed this past year, and rightfully so. Let me introduce you to Lovable, a small team from Sweden who is currently breaking the internet with their AI building tool. Now this platform is very impressive because of its native integrations, and I'll talk about those in just a second, but let me blow your mind with how this thing actually works. Now we're gonna start building, let the countdown begin. Now the way I've been getting the best results is by starting off with a little bit of context. So I'm gonna start off with a simple prompt that describes the app's purpose, the target audience, as well as the key features. Please create an app called One Task. It allows the users to set a goal that it breaks down into smaller daily tasks that take no more than 30 minutes to complete. So I've now described what this app does, and then I said I would like for it to start by building a simple landing page. This I highly recommend. We're gonna really build this out step by step. So let's click on create. And as we can see in real time, it is actually spinning up a preview for us. Boom, and just like that, it created the first version of the landing page. Transform big goals into achievable daily tasks. Very impressive how it wrote this out. We go a bit further, how one task works, and then basically a call to action, start your journey. Now, once we have a first version, we're gonna wanna adapt the structure of this page. So let's say that we wanted to add an additional section with testimonials. I can just prompt it right here, and then it reloads, and if I go down here, I'm gonna see that we have an additional section, as we can see here, with testimonials. So now I like the structure of the page, but I'm not a real fan of the uh, design here. So I actually wanna get a little bit nerdier on the design side, and this might be a good time to do it. And because I'm not a designer, I'm just gonna find a website that I like and find pretty, and I'm gonna ask it to kind of mimic the style of that website. And I kind of like this one, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna use a little trick. I'm gonna basically capture a screenshot here. I'm gonna attach this screenshot, and then I'm gonna say, could you adapt the design of this project to the screenshot I'm uploading? Now let's see what happens. Ooh la la, I like it. Okay, so that only took about 11 minutes to accomplish, but we have so much more to do, so let's keep going. Now that we have the design, it's time to jump into building the core of this app. Now, when someone clicks on these call to action buttons, I'm asking it to route them to a dashboard. I tell them I'm gonna add authentication later, and then I describe what I want this dashboard to look like. Okay, so it says it's created a dashboard. Let's click on get started. Excellent, one task, dashboard progress goal. Now we have some basic design, but let's start working on this functionality. I'm gonna kick it off with create a goal right here. And the more specific I can be about what I want this to actually do, the better. Let's see what that gives us. And it recommends one of the things I was gonna do, which is to actually connect AI to this. So I can do a better job of breaking down the tasks. And this is really cool because it's actually telling me that it's doing it, but also that later I should connect to AI to get better results. This was exactly what I was planning on doing. So let's see what that does. Create a goal. Excellent, create your goal, describe your goal in detail. I wanna learn how to play the song Wonderwall from Oasis on the guitar, but I don't have experience. Create plan. So here it says it's created the goal, here's how we can do it. Actually, even before connecting it to AI, I think it's doing a really good job here. So let's go ahead and click get started. When I click get started, it did not do anything. So I'm telling it this mistake, I'm also saying that the dashboard works well now, but to change that small mistake. Now let's move on to the next point. Now I want there to be a little bit more detail on these tasks and how to accomplish them. And when someone clicks on mark as complete, I would like confetti to pop and for us to go inside the progress bar and to show them their progress real time. That's how I wanna give them that dopamine hit that they need for accountability. So I put that all in a prompt, let's see what it gives us. And now my friends, I've hit another error. So let's go ahead and try to fix it. Now the great thing is that at any point I can come back and I can actually go 
into history and I can roll back to one of the previous versions. And this is great because it allows you to just track the last thing that broke it and you can just go back to the version before, change the prompt and we can keep moving forward. And now my friends, it's loaded again. Let's go ahead and see how this works. Create goal, excellent. It's giving me a similar thing get started and now when i created it as we can see it brought me straight here it gave me the first one it gave me more details if i do this i'm going to be able to mark as complete boom confetti it brings me straight to the overall streak and it gives me a congratulations now this works pretty much exactly as i had expected it to i'm really happy with this if i go here i'm going to be able to also see the overall goal with uh, all of these if i go back to the dashboard i'm now going to see okay this is the next uh, thing that I have to do. Set a metronome to 60 BPM, practice switching between A and D chords. I mark this one complete. I'm gonna have another confetti. It's gonna be right, right back here. It's 50% complete, two days consecutive. Man, this works. Okay, so now my friends, our app is looking really good. However, this is actually just the design. We need to now connect this to a database so we can save and call on all of this information. And each user can do that by also implementing authentication, which is login, sign in, sign up, lost password, et cetera, et cetera. And so to implement these functions, my friends, we're going to be using a database called Superbase. And the amazing thing is that Lovable already has a direct integration with Superbase, meaning that when we change things inside of Lovable, it will also change them inside of Superbase. But first, we got to get set up. So the way we can do that is by jumping into Superbase and creating an account. Okay, so this is their website, Superbase. Go ahead and create an account. Once you have, you're going to hit the dashboard. And here, I'm going to create a new project here on the top left. Project name is going to be one task. And then I have to choose where the servers are. I'm in California, so I'll choose this one create new project. Now each project is going to have an API key, which allows you to access the full database through this API key. So you're going to want to uh, go ahead and copy this API key and we're going to serve it to Superbase when the time comes. And I'll show you how to do that in just a moment, but for the moment we wait and now it has created the project successfully. And once we're done with that, my friends, we're going to come back to our project and we're going to now create authentication. Okay, now let's set up authentication with Superbase. I have created the project. I would like users only to be able to access their dashboard if they have an account. Please create the sign up, sign in pages, and instruct me on the next steps. You see, if you're nice to lovable, it's gonna love you right back. Jesus, what a terrible dad joke. So now we're gonna click on Superbase here. We're going to connect Superbase. It's going to ask me, yes, I do want to authorize Lovable. And then it's gonna ask me to connect the project. I just hover over the organization and I'm gonna choose one task. Now I'm gonna hop back in here to Superbase. I'm gonna to go to authentication over here. And the awesome thing here is it's gonna actually allow us to choose the providers. So here I'm gonna enable email and then it's gonna recommend what it's doing for me. Usually it gets this right. I'm gonna apply these changes. Now it says, great, I've done the migration. Now would you like me to implement these? Yes, please do. My friends, if you wanna be on the cutting edge of building apps with AI and you want to build out your app in 30 days, then I have something exciting for you. We are putting on the first of its kind AI building bootcamp which is also a one-on-one -on -one coaching program. We guarantee each founder to leave with their MVP, first version of their app. And you'll also be learning all the fundamentals to build and launch an app with AI builders without any technical skills. The program includes your own private scoping and strategy session to make sure you're building the right version of the app, your own coach and technical co-founder who will help you build it as you hit any roadblocks, group learning sessions featuring some of the most advanced AI app builders. Lovable is obviously included in that along with several others and on top of that you'll be building great relationships with the other builders in the program and if that doesn't sound like enough we also have a discounts package that you will get access to that gives you access to more than 175 different discounts totaling an amount of three hundred thousand dollars in discounts meaning that this program pretty much pays for itself but of course there are limited spots because i'll be personally involved with each founder as well and if you want to learn more about it you can check out the link in the description box now let's get back to the video okay perfect now it seems like this has has deployed it properly let's check get started for free guys this looks great email let's go we just invent something here i do not in fact have an account so let me go ahead and sign up successfully signed in and we can now come here and uh we can essentially mark this task as complete confetti and it brings us to the progress we have a three streak so the cool thing here is um if this is uh working properly uh, that means that we are signed in. Um, now I'm gonna say, hey, 
could you please create a sign out button? So that works, but now I want the landing page to also have uh, the logo, and I also wanna add the sign up sign in on the right hand side if you are not yet signed up or signed in. Now we have the top bar here, it looks good, and we can actually sign in here and go ahead and use the username and password. So this seems like it is working well. The last piece of the puzzle I want here is that on the top right here, I wanna have the lot sign out. Okay, so that leaves us 28 minutes to go. Cross your fingers, subscribe to the channel. Hope that we make it in the 60 minute mark. Let's jump back in. Okay, so to check whether the data is syncing properly and you've set up authentication properly as well, you can go inside our super base account here and on the left-hand side, we're gonna see the table. So if we look at the table editor, there should be one for goals, one for tasks. If we go to the database itself, we see that the tasks and the goals are linked to the user ID, which is perfect. If we click on authentication. We're basically going to see the logged in users. This is myself. Excellent. So it all seems to be working quite well. Okay, guys, but let's get serious. What kind of an app would this be if I didn't have some kind of AI in? Okay, I'm being a bit sarcastic. I think too many people try to add AI to everything, but I do want to show you how we can add some AI here. I'm specifically going to use it so that the goals, when they're created, it creates it's more specific tasks. And for that, we're gonna be connecting OpenAI. Now, of course, for this, you need an account, but if you're inside your um, account, you can go to dashboard over here on the left-hand side, API keys. You wanna create a new key. Here, we're basically going to call it the name of the project in this case. So I'm just gonna call it one task. And we're gonna go ahead and create the key. Uh, this key, you do not wanna show to anyone. I'm basically going to uh, copy this key. I'll be using it, but I'll be switching it out afterwards. Now I'm gonna go back to Lovable and Lovable is actually where we're going to command this, but a lot of the changes are actually gonna happen in Superbase because what this is called is an edge function. You don't really need to know what that means, but basically to incorporate outside services, you're gonna wanna create edge functions. Now I'd like to incorporate OpenAI as an edge function to allow the tasks to be much more precise. This is gonna tell it pretty much everything it needs to know. Let's go ahead and test this out. So it tells me I'm ready. So what I'm gonna do here to really test this properly is sign up with a different email address. And here I'm running into a real problem. As you can see, it's bringing me into the other account meaning that we have a problem between the syncing of a user and their specific data. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell um, Lovable what's happening as an issue and we're gonna get it to solve it. Now let's basically log out. We're gonna get, go ahead and uh, create uh, a new account again. And now it seems like it is working. I had to basically follow some instructions here and feed it back some uh, information that I was getting as errors. And now if I create a goal, I just logged in with one of my accounts. I'm gonna create a new goal. Let's make it um, learn how to speak English in three months. And now it seems like our edge function is having a little issue. Let's go ahead and uh, try to fix it. So you basically have to be quite persistent in some of these things uh, because you run into issues. But Lovable is quite good at actually letting you know what it needs you to do and also uh, figuring out errors themselves. Okay, let's try this again. OpenAI has figured out how to do this. Um, learn basic greetings and introductions, practice numbers and simple phrases. Love it, so it's working. Now let's see, we have a new one. Create a list of 20 common vocabulary words. Let's go ahead and click on that. Completed, boom, three. 38% complete. Okay, my friends, this is the moment of truth. This AI app should be ready to deploy. Let's go ahead and click on this preview link here. Boom, appears very nicely. See how it works, brings you down there. If I go to the call to action, here, start your journey. It's gonna allow me to sign in or sign up. I don't currently have an account. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, create one from scratch. Okay, we've now reached this page. Let's go ahead and create one. Lose 10 pounds of body. Go ahead and create your plan. Boom, and it directs me automatically to this daily task. If I mark this task as complete, it brings me to progress. And if I go into goal, I can basically see my goal with all of the specific tasks we have to do and it's crossing them off one by one. This one is the next one. Choose cardio workout that you enjoy. Excellent, two. It is working correctly, my friends. Let's go, AI app built. My friends, so stoked this is working, but now we only have six minutes left and I have to still deploy this to the custom domain as promised. I bought one task.io, I'm gonna attach it to that. We're down to the wire, let's jump in. Okay, so to deploy it to my custom domain, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just basically tell it, hey, I'd like to deploy this, please help me do that. And I have a domain in Namecheap, which is kind of like GoDaddy, it's where I bought my domain. Go to Netlify, connect your GitHub repository, configure build settings, excellent. 
and deploy, uh, configure your Namecheap domain. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that with all of the information that they have here. We're gonna go ahead and publish this. Right here on the top, you go here and you can go ahead and deploy it. So I'm just clicking on deploy right now. And then I have all the instructions for the custom domain. I already have access to this, which is now the public link. I've just published this and we are live. I'm gonna now click on custom domains. It's basically going to figure this out. So I'm running out of time and I didn't realize that I would have to do this like this. So let's see if we're able to do it. My friends, we finally finished the app. Unfortunately, it took me 18 more minutes than planned. It took me exactly 78 minutes to build out the app, attach it to a database, authentication, add an edge function with AI and deployed it to a custom domain. And so now you know exactly how to do the same. But building an app is one thing, monetizing it is another. So if you wanna learn how to do that from scratch, check out this video because I'm gonna teach you how to get your first paying customers and how to create a growth engine behind your business. Thank you so much, my friends. Consider subscribing to the channel. Let's go.